how do you know who to go to to get prepared for an important audition like Bach Middle School of the Arts or Dreyfus? Hey everybody, Melissa Bohr Jacobson here, the founder of Confident Performance Coaching. I am so proud to say that tonight we finished our 23rd year of preparing students for confident, successful auditions for Bach Middle School of the Arts and for Dreyfus School of the Arts. And wow, this just may have been our best year ever. And after 23 years, well, that is saying a lot. That being said, this year there were several students who came to us at the very last minute, literally days before their audition, who, for whatever reason, were feeling very anxious, and that's why they came to us, because they just knew that something was missing, something important was missing from their preparation. They had been preparing outside of Confident Performance Coaching Studios. And so when they came here, Fortunately, we have the skills here and we were able to quickly fill those gaps and those students were able to get the help that they needed to feel confident and feel great about their auditions just in the nick of time. But this this really got me thinking a lot about how to help people find the right kind of coaching for these kinds of auditions that are very, very unique. And so I wanted to give you some quick tips on what to look for in an audition preparation program or an audition coach. So first of all, it's so important to understand that auditioning, particularly for these kinds of programs, and performing are related, but they are different and very separate skills. At Confident Performance Coaching, we are experts in all things audition related as well as all things performance related. And we understand those differences. So here are some things that you want to look for when you're seeking effective audition coaching and audition coaching programs. First of all, audition coaches must understand that these auditions involve the entire family and that the process of applying for these auditions can be overwhelming and confusing and people who, who do audition preparation need to be very willing and happy to support the parents as they wade through some of the potential confusion of that application process. So be sure that whoever you choose to work with has experienced both holding auditions and experiencing auditions themselves, as we have here. Be sure that they have read and understand the most up-to-date guidelines not old guidelines from years ago, and that they truly understand these guidelines, that they have gone over the most recent ones with a fine tooth comb. Make sure that the, they have significant experience preparing students for these auditions, and that they understand the difference between this kind of audition and auditioning for a play or something like that. It's very, very different. Be sure that they allow you to see some of the preparation in action and that they provide feedback and make sure that they provide expert coaching, not just in the performance, but in handling nerves and anxiety, as well as provide mock auditions and rehearsals that include all aspects of the audition, including what to do before and after, what to wear, what to eat, what to sleep, not just the performative parts or the content or the material. Choose your experts wisely. For example, a singing teacher, a piano teacher, an art teacher, or a theater teacher can definitely help with material, but not necessarily with the complexities of the audition process. So these are examples of the many things that we do do here at Confidence Performance Coaching that make us so successful and make our students feel so confident. And we're always here as a resource for you. And I hope that this has been helpful. So for more information on how we at Confident Performance Coaching can help with auditions for Bach or Dreyfus College, or in fact, any kind of audition or interview, including job interviews, visit us at www.confidentperformancecoaching.com. And please check out our spring and summer programs. We are in the process of registering for them right now, and they start February 21st. 
And our summer camps start June 3rd. So we're looking forward to seeing some of you in those programs. Thanks for listening and have a wonderful day.